Hayden. Hayden says, Hayden says, Hey, Robert. Started, I started immersing myself in your amazing course. Uh, one thing I'm freaking out about is that I've sung and written a fair amount of pivotal notes in my songs in falsetto. It's emotionally expressive to sing in falsetto, and fans can, can be drawn in by it. Is this damaging my voice? All right, interesting question. Hayden says, hey, I love your program, thank you. Um, I've been doing, I've written songs, and I do a lot of, oh, singing in falsetto, singing falsetto a lot in my songs, and it tends to, tends to draw my audience in. I like, I like what it does, but, you know, it's falsetto, it's this windy position. Is it damaging my voice? No. Falsetto's not damaging your voice, Hayden. It, it, falsetto is, in some sense, barely a voice. I mean, there's it, it, falsetto is one of the eight physical vocal modes characterized by uh, a, a large amount of respiration bleeding through the glottis, resulting in a real sort of Shirley Temple girly sound. From time to time, you might want to sing like this. Maybe you're a PG. Maybe you're a Tiny Tim. I don't know what the situation is. Maybe you're going to sing it. Falsetto, what's wrong? Falsetto is a sound color you might want to use on a rare occasion, but falsetto is also a very weak position. The musculature in falsetto is pretty much non existent. Okay? It's, falsetto is like one step away from making this sound color. Okay, so you got you got this, which isn't really doing much for you. Oh, you got falsetto, and then after falsetto, we begin to build some musculature. You begin to build the TA, the the, you know, the belt techniques, so your dampen and release onset, and your glottal attacks, and your integrated training routines designed for strength building, cry mode, all this stuff that builds motor skills and strength in the larynx, primarily to get out of falsetto. Falsetto will always be there for you, by the way. It's, it's what I call a primitive physical mode, which means you don't really necessarily have to train to get into falsetto. It's just there. So that's, that's more evidence that it's not going to hurt you. It's part of being a human being to falsetto. Hayden, if you and I went back in time, all right, if we had a time machine, we went back in time and we stood in front of some cavemen and we asked them, we said, we said to the caveman, Said we, we said, okay, Kate, man, well, we want you to do this. <laughs> All right? They wouldn't be able to do it because that takes training and motor skills, and it's, that's an athletic endeavor. It's like doing a cartwheel. You have to learn how to do it, okay? But if we went to a Kate, man, and they don't understand what we're saying, right? And we went to a Kate, man, and we said, do this. Ha, ha, you do this. Ha. A caveman would be able to go. They'd look at each other and go, huh? Ha. And they'd be able to do it. All right? This is why certain physical modes in the book and in the course are classified as primitive or trained. All right? Falsetto is a primitive mode. It's, it's something that everybody can do. I mean, just go out to the street and talk to 10 people that don't give a rip about singing or training, and they'll go, oh, for you. But that's, that, that's, that's evidence that it's certainly not going to hurt you. Okay? Um, on the other hand, singing with twang compression and cry vocal mode and distortion and, and, and other things, these are trained configurations that take athletic motor skills and repetition. All right, so Hayden, it's certainly fine. What was your other question here? Uh, is it damaging my voice? Okay, no, we're good. Are we good? Falsetto is not going to damage your voice. It's perfectly fine. But don't hang on to falsetto. You don't need my book and the course to sing in falsetto. Okay? If you want to sing in falsetto, then you're already doing that. This course and this book is, among other things, it's designed to help you to learn how to sing in your head voice without falsetto. 
cas, 